Hi guys, it's Michelle with Honeymoon Always. Today we want to show you all about our new Lisbon apartment. If you watched our last video, you know that we were looking for an apartment for a long time and we were mostly looking for a fully furnished apartment. That market was unfortunately very competitive. So we ended up going for a non-furnished apartment and we had to figure out how to basically put everything into the apartment. We didn't know how much that would cost. We didn't know where we would find stuff. And it ended up actually going pretty well and not being too difficult. So we wanna share all about that with you. So if this is something that you're trying to do, you can find those things too. We just moved in about a month ago, so there's still a lot of work to do, but we hope that this is helpful or interesting or that you can just enjoy our new apartment as much as we do. Before we moved in, we'd heard some horror stories of people who had had significant delays in shipping, getting stuff to their house, but we didn't experience any of that. With the exception of our couch from Gato Preto, they said it would be one week, we got it in two or three, so not a big deal. Our apartment didn't come with light fixtures, so we did have to purchase those ourselves. Our landlord said that's actually really common here and that many Portuguese people prefer floor lamps. As much as we would have loved to have been able to install these ourselves, we didn't feel confident that we wouldn't screw everything up, so we hired a handyman to come in. Okay, aside from our stellar view out of the living room, one of our very favorite things about this apartment is the kitchen. It is the perfect size for us, and it has a lot of amenities that we didn't think we would be able to get. So one thing is we have a lot of pantry storage. I'm not gonna open it up for you and show you the mysteries inside, but we're really excited about everything we can keep in here. The next thing is this American size refrigerator. So most European refrigerators are probably the size of about half of this, but we're really lucky that we have a full size refrigerator and a full size freezer so that we can keep leftovers here. Dan loves to cook and so that makes it easier for food prep for us. And the other thing is this lovely ice maker and water machine. Ice is definitely more of an American thing as compared to a European thing. This is really, really nice. Here we have a stove, fancy, lovely. And then we've got our dishwasher here. This is like our water heater thing. We have some more storage. And then here we have our washing machine. And now in Europe, it's really common for the washing machine to be in the kitchen. It's definitely like, I mean, it looks older, but it actually looks totally fine. Immediately following the filming of this video, the washing machine died. Rest in peace. Here we have a really cool oven. And the thing that's really cool about it is when you pull the door out, all the trays come with it. So you don't have to reach in and burn yourself. It all just like appears right here. So it's something we really love. And we have a microwave. While Ikea is a great resource for home goods, we didn't want it to feel like a rental. So we got some things that we really liked from Ikea and then we supplemented with some Portuguese ceramics. If you're looking for other non-Ikea resources for home goods, Continente has a lot of good stuff. And as you may know, Dan is a trained chef, so we got some quality pots, pans, and knives from the outlet mall. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you back to the mysteries of the back rooms here. This is where the bedrooms and the bathrooms are. So first we have a bedroom, and we originally had our guest bedroom in here, but we learned that you could hear kind of walking above us, so we moved that to a second bedroom, and we're using it for an office. We have lots of built-in storage here, which is great, and we have a tiny little desk. <laughs> so we're turning this into an office or a zen room, or. I think we might um, put my painting supplies in here. So this might be a room of mysteries uh, once we actually get stuff in there, but for now it's kind of empty. And here we have the first full bathroom. Very importantly, we have Dan's Harry Potter bathroom robe. We have uh, towel warmers, which are really nice. We have a really nice full sink area, a bidet if you're into that, and a bathtub, which we really appreciate. All right, now I'm gonna show you our first guest bedroom. It's a little bit smaller than the last bedroom, but it does have some nice storage, and we're really excited to have some guests be able to stay with us. Our last apartment, we didn't have enough space to really have anyone comfortably stay with us, so we're really excited about that. Okay, next we are going into the master bedroom bathroom area. Uh, so the master bedroom has lots of storage, 
It has a, a nice fan that we bought and brought in. We put in this light fixture as well. And here is the master bathroom. One thing I was extra excited about about this bathroom is that the tub has jets. Unfortunately, they stopped working and our landlord basically said, tough luck, the manufacturer no longer wants to have a presence in Portugal, so there's not much she can do to help us get them working again. That being said, we really, really love our new apartment, broken jets and all. So that is our new Lisbon apartment. We feel so lucky to live here. Hopefully we've answered as many questions as we can about where we got stuff and you know what came with the apartment versus what we bought. But if you have any questions, please let us know. We are also providing a full spreadsheet of like everything that we bought along with everything we considered buying available on our Patreon. So if you are looking to furnish your apartment, we think that'll be a really good resource for you. And you can follow along with us on Instagram at Honeymoon Always and please subscribe to our channel. We'll talk to you later.